in this video i am going to be sharing with you 10 most dangerous criminals that terrorized nigeria and their true crime story every nation of the world has in one way or the other experienced criminal attacks from its citizens or non-citizens nigeria a country located in west africa has also had its fair share of criminal attacks where the likes of hoodlums and bandits terrorists and deadly criminals have instilled great fear in the minds of its citizens so in today's video we will talk about the 10 most dangerous criminals and notorious criminals that terrorized nigeria and their true crime story number one Abu Bakr Shekau. Abu Bakr Shekau was born in 1970 and died on 19th May 2021. He was the leader of Boko Haram. He terrorized Nigeria from 2009 to 2021 until he was killed by the Nigerian Air Force at Zambiza Forest on 19th May 2021. He is a Fulani man from Kanuri in Bonu state in the northern part of Nigeria. He served as a deputy leader to the growth founder Mohammed Yusuf until Mohammed Yusuf was executed in 2009 and he became the leader of Boko Haram. He is responsible for several suicide bombings, kidnappings and killings of many Nigerians and foreigners. In March 2015, Abu Bakr Shekau pledged allegiance with Isil. He made the leadership of President Gulag Jonathan very tough. He caused Nigerians, most especially those in the north, nightmare. He is regarded as the worst criminal in the history of Nigeria. Number 2. Shinarambo those who had previously experienced the onslaught of Shinarambo would never forget him. He is just like other notorious criminals and he was also an armed robber. According to various reports, he was capable of robbing an entire highway alongside his gang. Meanwhile, why some reports have it that he died while in operation, others say he died as an ordinary man. He was well vested with charms and black magic for protection. He was known to be a demigod while he operated on busy highways until the day he met his waterlaw. Number 3. Monde Osumbo Monde Osumbo was a notorious criminal and a very good accomplice of Lawrence and Nene's gang. In the gang, he was the one who performed the function of executing people. He had a short temper and wasted no time in killing people. Monday Osumbo was killed alongside Lawrence Anene in 1987. He was described by the media as the most dangerous criminal in Nigerian history to mankind. Number 4. Deriko Mwamama Deriko Mwamama whose real name is Okudele Ndigwe, was given the title of King of the Underworld. Residents of Onisha, a commercial city in Anambra state, were the set of people who experienced this onslaught the most. According to sources, Deriko had allegedly murdered over 100 people, which include about 25 police officers. He was known to be a merciless arm robber who robbed buses with gang members. Anambra State Police Command launched an operation to capture Deriko and his gang members but failed. While some of his gang members were later caught, the leader himself was still on the run. However, he did not run for a long time as the Bakasi Boys, a very popular vigilante group, set up to reduce crime in the southeast finally got hold of the deadly criminal in 2001. The Bakasi boys paraded the Rikowamama as Onisha roundabout and finally beheaded him 
in an open square. Number five, Shukode Evans. Evans, whose full name is Shukode Dumeme Onamadiki, was an infamous kidnapper and armed robber who came into the limelight after being arrested in 2017 by Police Special Anti Robbery Squad headed by Abakare. Evans hails from Newe in Anambra State. He is also referred to as the Bilonia Kidnapper because the Nigerian police force believe he is one of the richest kidnapped kingpin in the history of Nigeria. The Inspector General of Police Special Intelligence Response Team IROT, of the Nigerian police force described Evans as a very smart, crafty and intelligent criminal who invaded arrest for more than four years despite being on the most wanted list in three states. Number 6 Ishola Onyenusi Dr. Ishola Onyenusi was the first known armed robber in the history of Nigeria. He took the country by storm shortly after the civil war in 1970 and committed several crimes and mayhem against humanity. And before he was executed in 1971 at the famous Babi show in front of over 30,000 Nigerians watching, no one believed that the doctor as he called himself could be captured as he was rumored to be invincible. When Ishola Onyenusi reigned at the height of his exploit, he declared and I quote, the bullet has no power over me. Ishola Onyenusi got into active robbery back in 1959, but he committed his first major robbery when he snatched a car along Habat Macaulay Road in Yaba, Lagos and killing its owner in the process just because his girlfriend was broke and needed money to buy her makeup. By the end of the civil war, Ishola Onyenusi had turned into a cold-blooded armed robber who took delight in causing pain to his victims. The last robbery that ended his journey was in Ikeja, Lagos in March 1971. Dr. Ishola Onyenusi's execution was celebrated by relieved Nigerians who trooped out in masses to the bad beach in Lagos to witness the end of a man who has held the country to ransom. While being tied on the drum for execution, he kept smiling. He smiled to his death. You know the best. You know the best. And I will shall be done. That will have to be done. My spirit shall prevail on my enemies who have conspired to take away my life at this stage. I never knew. Because I said it for my family and for my nation, but not knowing that I could not help my nation. Any means. The above named prisoner was on the 26th day of August 1971 found guilty and sentenced to death by trial court for the following offenses. 1. Robbery punishable under the Number 7. Kayode Williams. Kayode Williams was a deadly armed robber who allegedly murdered people without thinking twice. While he confessed about his crime, Kayode Williams explained how he pounded babies and made use of them for spiritual fortification. Kayode Williams was converted to Christianity while he was in jail for over 10 years. That is to say, 
after committing several crimes to humanity, he was convicted for life imprisonment. But after spending 10 years in prison, he became a converted Christian and a born again and started converting souls for Christ. Number 8. Abiodun Egunjobi Abiodun Egunjobi is also known as Godogodo. He was a deadly criminal who terrorized Lagos in the southwest region of Nigeria. He was also known as the one eye assassin who killed without mercy and did all sorts of atrocities. He was apprehended on 1st August 2013 after a series of attempts to arrest him for over 14 years by the Nigerian security forces proved abortive. According to reports, he was very good at disguising his criminal activities that his wife and his family members never knew that he was a criminal. Godogodo was a gun lover as he goes for his operation with bags often loaded with AK-47 rifles. His house in Lagos, Ondo and Ogun State is also flooded with rifles of different kinds. Number 9. Gracious West Gracious David West, popularly known as the Portaco serial killer, reportedly had a tough childhood. He claimed that his mother was poisoned and that as the only son of his father, much was expected of him but he could not deliver. So he ventured into crime. He was a member of Dick Ham, a fraternity group that is notorious in Nigeria for engaging in acts of violence and mayhem. His modus operandi was always the same. Every night he scouted for girls at local clubs around the city of Port Harcourt. He lured them to local hotels in the suburb of the city, sleeps with them and suffocates them to death. His victims were always found with pieces of white clothes tied around their legs. Gracious before his arrest on 19 September 2019, while trying to flee from the city of Port Harcourt, confessed to having killed at least 15 women in three months. After that, we were inside the club after that she discussed of how much I would pay her. So after that we left the club to the hotel. That what is the name of the hotel? Do you can you remember the name of the hotel? Pat Pat Is that what's at the room of Roda Sassy? Okay, that's what it's room of Coro. No, Rupa 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 okay. Yes. Yeah, so what happened when you went? So after that we went to the hotel. Yes. I paid for the place. So they took her to home. Um, so after they took her home, I said, okay, let me look for you to arrange for food. I should eat myself. So they prepared food and we ate. So after that, we slept the when did they broke by around that 5.30. Yes, 5.30 to rest at 4 or 5.30. So I ordered a knife. She didn't actually know that there was a knife there. So I brought out the knife. That was where the letter don't shout. Then she shouted that we used the knife on her. So with that fear, she couldn't shout. And by then the television, the volume was loud. Yes, loud. So she kept quiet. And after that, I used the wrapper to tie her head on the back. Then tie her legs. Which wrapper? Pillowcase. Okay, pillowcase. Yes. Number 10. Bado of Ikorodu Bado of Ikorodu has been described as one of the most dangerous criminals in Nigerian history. He operates especially in the Ikorodu Aziz of Lagos State while molesting children and women as well as robbing people of their valuables. Bado of Ikorodu terrorized Ikorodu for a very long time while escaping attempts by the police to convict him, even after he was arrested multiple times. However, on one occasion where he got released by the police, the Ikorodu community became very angry and decided to put a stop to his terror. They hunted after Bado of Ikorodu, caught him and set him on fire. <laughs> 